Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes. Welcome to T-Rex Steel City Mukbang. Where will this food journey take you today? Pull up a seat. Let's eat. Hello, my gorgeous gastronomes. I hope you guys are all doing well today. <clears throat> Please drop me a comment and let me know how your day is going. Um, I have some uh, spicy chicken again. <laughs> no surprise. <clears throat> I have some spicy wangs. Wangs, wangs. And some cucumbers. Not a bad uh, diet for a day, I guess you could say. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, I hope everybody's weekend was great. Hope you had a good Monday. Um, <clears throat> I've just been at home trying to recover mentally and trying to prepare myself to get back to work. And, you know, I've been praying over it and, and I think I, I'll be able to do it. <laughs> you know, I've got, I have to do it. I've got to do it. So, <clears throat> but, um, I have some barbecue sauce here and some Pete's hot sauce, Texas Pete. For our drinks today, I have Commodore Perry. Oh, yeah, it's that kind of day. It's a Commodore Perry kind of day. I don't even have any water of any kind. No bottled water, no sparkling water, nothing. Just ready to dig in here. <clears throat> and uh, as I get started, I would love to ask you for your support. I would also like to thank you for your support. I'm up to 50 subscribers and I am thrilled to death. I'm as happy as if I had 50,000. I didn't think I was going to get to 50 that fast, but it's working and I thank you and I appreciate you. So please continue to spread the word, subscribe, like, comment, and share your little hearts out, please. Share, share, share. And I thank you, like I said, for everyone who has already subscribed and shared and supported and commented and liked. You are loved by me. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know if, um, <clears throat> You guys saw a previous video where I told a little bit about myself. And I mentioned that my favorite food is wings. I'm just letting you know it again. In case you missed that video. My favorite food right here. Wings. So what does that mean? It means that you'll be seeing a variety of wings. You'll be seeing grilled, 
You'll be seeing oven fried. You'll be seeing deep fried. And you may see it a little bit often. I won't bore you to death with wings. But I just want you to know that you'll probably see wings more on this channel than any other channel. I'm willing to make that bet. also be seeing <clears throat> a variety of sauces that I will make for these wings. If you have not watched my video yet of <clears throat> about my video that disappeared <laughs> Please go check it out because I had a 46 minute video just disappear on me and it was a seafood boil. That's quite traumatic. If you're sitting down eating $100 worth of seafood on camera. Me, I'm trying to share that with my gastronomes. Then the video disappears. It's very close to <clears throat> taking all that food and throwing it in the trash can because, yes, I got a chance to eat. <clears throat> yes, I was not hungry anymore. I was thankful for the food. All those things, yes. But I was missing my audience. I was missing my gastronomes. You guys weren't here because the video malfunctioned. <clears throat> so I didn't get a chance to share it with you. And that takes away... A big part of the enjoyment of it you know it takes away part of the enjoyment that you guys weren't able to share in the mukbang with me <clears throat> so it was very depressing for me Don't know what happened to it, but I had created a sauce in that video. It started out, I was trying to make um, Bee Love sauce. I had watched her video of where she recreated her sauce <clears throat> and I was trying to do it. Notice the word trying. I was trying to do it. Found out I didn't have any accent or Cajun season. Those are two things that she said she uses. I didn't have any. So I added a bunch of other things. Which immediately changed it from Be Love Smackalicious Sauce to 
T-Rex Still City Gastrolicious sauce. I don't know. But it was, um, you know, I added different things. Trying to make up for that. Those missing ingredients. Came up with an entirely different sauce. It was very good. And I will, um, I'll post the ingredients and everything. Actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the picture on this video so you can see what, what all I put in it. And then I'll talk more about it on my next seafood boil. Which is not going to be too far away. Yesterday I did post a seafood boil, but it was from a pre-recorded session. And thank God I have some pre-recorded sessions in case of emergencies like that, disappearing videos and things like that. So I always try to <clears throat> record a couple extra videos and hang on to them in case of emergency. And that was a perfect example where I needed it. So that just simply reminds me to... Um, make more. <laughs> make sure that I have more standby videos. Mm, excuse me. Mm. Bones. So this batter today is a little bit different. Just I tweaked it just a little bit. Because I hope that each time I bring wings to you. There will be something a little bit different to talk about. About the wings. Since <clears throat> they are wings. And I eat a lot of wings. I'll at least try to make sure that. There's something different about the wing that I can talk to you about and give you the recipe for. For instance, this one is not just buttermilk by itself. I actually beat an egg into it. I beat an egg into it and I put a little bit of water in it because I didn't have a whole bunch of buttermilk. Excuse me. It was getting kind of low. So I diluted it a little bit with water. But it didn't take away from the quality of it at all. It still turned out nice and flaky and crunchy. And in case you're wondering, I washed my hair today. Okay. Haven't had a chance to do anything else with it. I don't usually do anything else with it. But you guys have probably already figured that out. I'm over the top with the hairstyle. Very ethnic. Very Afrocentric. Very wild. But it's natural. 
and it's carefree and I like it so I put a little color on it and um washed it <clears throat> so it's kind of all over the place right now <laughs> Don't have the Woodstock look today. Kind of have um, <clears throat> an exhausted feeling, which I've had for the past week. Just so much has been going on. I just want to get myself back to back to normal. Say a prayer for me. feels very empty in the house without the dog. <clears throat> when I talked about alone versus lonely the other day on a video, I said that I loved my aloneness and I still do but I didn't realize at the time that maybe part of the reason that I didn't feel lonely was because there was a dog in the house because <clears throat> like I feel a little bit lonely right now because I miss her, so that's what makes me sad. That's what makes me sad about being by myself right now. Because she's gone. But I still know that this state of being alone is something that I like. And I'll be okay with it again once I come to terms with Jolie being gone. And I know I will come to terms with it. It will always hurt, but I will come to terms with it. <clears throat> Just like I've had to come to terms with other prominent deaths that I've had to deal with like my dad <laughs> I'm mentioning him because he would be the most recent 
before my dog. <clears throat> so, yeah, in time I will come to terms. pretty much just wanted to get past the uh, feeling of wanting to cry if somebody even says hello <laughs> hello I start crying <laughs> I just like to get past that part I used the super hot cayenne again. I'm a glutton for punishment. I love my spice. Love my spice. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to that last video for a minute because I'm just curious about what you other mukbangers do. You spend a bunch of money on your food. You record a near perfect video. You go to upload it and it gets lost. <laughs> what do you do? Seriously, leave me a comment and let me know what you do. I was so shocked when that happened. I don't know if I accidentally erased it. I was trying to clear some space for my export. And I didn't really think at the time that I deleted the video. I don't know. But leave me a comment and let me know if there's some type of workaround or solution. What do you do when you lose a video that features a bunch of seafood and the video goes perfectly as far as the recording and lighting and everything else, the editing? Because I had spent an hour editing. Maybe even more. I'd put time into editing that video and have it just go away. Excuse me. That was some painful stuff right there. <laughs> really was. I know I'm not the first one that's happened to. I 
I tried every tech-savvy thing that I knew. Even as far as downloading a data recovery app to try to pull back everything that was on my iPad from the past. They claimed it worked 100% and I would get my stuff back. And I didn't get anything back except the five second meme that I didn't want anyway. So I submitted a refund request for that app. Like, oh, and let me take a, advantage of my 60 day return policy on this, huh? Take it back. It's not working. Good, <clears throat> good, good, good fried chicken. Popeyes, eat your heart out. <laughs> KFC, eat your heart out. Churches, eat your heart out. Mm. Excuse 
excuse me. Again, my cucumbers just have um, oil and vinegar, <clears throat> olive oil and vinegar, and sea salt and pepper. That's it. Sometimes I do put green onions or chives in there. Just didn't do it today. Don't forget about the chip and chick challenge either. Okay, We're getting closer and closer to Thanksgiving. You guys out there eating chitlins on Thanksgiving Day, film it, record it, set up your video. But you have to have turkey <clears throat> with it. Only Thanksgiving Day. Only Thanksgiving Day chitlins and turkey will be okay. If you do the chicks and chit challenge after or before Thanksgiving Day. You got to do it with some spicy chicken. Haven't found anybody willing to step up and take the challenge. I think you all are scared of chitlins. <laughs> I think you're scared of chitlins. <laughs> what is it? <clears throat> Smell? Hmm? Is it the thought of where they come from. That's all part of the challenge. Can you do it? Can you eat chitlins? Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. It'll be so much fun. To watch you try. But really though, guys, chitlins are good. 
Seriously, they are delicious. They just got a bad rap. It's nothing to be scared of. There's nothing to be all skeevy about either. Don't be skeevy about chitlins. They're good. They're good. Barbecue and hot. Mm -mm -mm. You know you want some. Probably run into the kitchen right now. Get them wings out of the freezer. Thaw them. And fry them. That's what you want to do. That's <laughs> what you really want to do right now. Mm -hmm. Or, you want to come over here and get my last piece. <laughs> One or the other. You're thinking about how bad you want to go ahead and fry up some of these. I don't blame you because they're kicking. Mm-hmm. And as I eat my last wing here, I, I have a confession to make. I really, really, really wanted to do the 20 chicken leg challenge. Of be loves. Excuse me. <clears throat> but I didn't do it because I knew I wouldn't make it. I knew it. And if I lived with, you know, people, if I had other people here, um, I probably would have tried it knowing that I couldn't finish 20 wings. Because then I could have just given them to whoever. But if I bought 20 wings. <clears throat> and I can only eat 6. What am I going to do with the other 14? I really don't like leftover chicken much. I really kind of despise leftover chicken. So what was I going to do with the other 14 wings that I already know I'm not going to be able to finish? So I didn't do the challenge. Because I already know about how many legs I can eat. And I could have probably done six. And if I really, really forced it, I probably could have done eight. That's it. So I wussed out from the very beginning 
I didn't even try. But I'm getting ready. Bring on the next challenge. I already won the chits and chick challenge until somebody else steps up and does it and eats six wings or more and a bowl of chitlins. Until then, I'm just going to wait for another challenge to come along. And I'm going to jump on the bandwagon. So I thank you gastronomes for joining me. It's always a pleasure. Peace out gastronomes. I will see you later.